Now this question number 139 belongs to chapter ray optics from the topic prism. As per the question, a ray is incident at an angle of incidence i on one surface of small angled prism and emerges normally from the opposite surface. If the refractive index of the material of prism is mu, then the angle of incidence is nearly equal to. So let's see, I have made a diagram for you. I hope this is visible. Now let's start with the solution. Now this prism, it's, this is angle A, this is the normal, this is the incident ray, it entered the prism and after that it moved such like it is perpendicular to the surface. Now this is angle of incidence, this is A, so this angle would be R, that is angle of refraction and which would be equal to A. Why so? Because in these questions you know that R1 plus R2 is equals to A since it moved perpendicularly in that case this would be 0 degree. So R1 is equals to R that is equals to A in our case. Now we all know that mu for this point can be written as mu is equals to sin I by sin R. But since the angles are small so I can write mu is equals to I by R. Or I can also write mu is equals to i by a and thus I can say that i is equals to mu a. I hope you have understood this one. Now let's see which is the best suited option among these. Yes, option number 2 is the correct answer to this question. Right. Let's move on to our next question. Now this question number 148 belongs to chapter electrostatic potential and capacitance. As per the question, in a certain region of space with volume 0.2 meter cube, the electric potential is found to be 5 volt throughout. Please understand and mark this word. The magnitude of electric field in this region is, as we are aware that electric field is defined as a potential gradient of that space. So what we can write here, let's start with the solution. If you write electric field is given by minus of dv by dx or dr you can go for it so since the potential is same throughout this would be zero yes the differential of a constant value is zero so for this question answer four option four is the correct answer i hope you have understood this one now let's move on to our next question now this question number 141 belongs to chapter atoms from class 12 here the question is based on the bose atomic model as per the question, for which one of the following Bohr model is not valid? So Bohr model is valid only for hydrogen and hydrogen-like atoms, right? Now here for the first question, the singly ionized helium atom, yes, it will satisfy the condition. The second is deuteron atom, yes, due to its electronic configuration, yes, it's an isotope of hydrogen, will satisfy the condition. When you talk about the third option, singly ionized neon atom, so neon configuration is 2 8 when it loses one electron, it becomes a neon positive ion. That means the configuration becomes 2, 7. So this will not satisfy the condition. So as for this question, yes, option number 3 is the correct answer. And obviously hydrogen will satisfy the condition. Now let's move on to our next question. That is question number 142. 